Hey, Tom Brandon here. Today, I'm headed to Anaheim, California for WebEx One. So this was really two events in one. The first was a briefing for analysts where we got to get a preview of what was gonna be announced at WebEx One. Um, we got to spend some time in their expo center and, and do some demos, um, as well as play around with some of the, the toys they had there. So the WebEx One event kicked off with G2 Patel giving a great keynote on hybrid work and the work that they're doing. Javed Khan took things a little bit deeper, talking about some of their new technologies around AI and how they're integrating them into the WebEx suite. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson gave a very memorable keynote. Ariana Huffington was there to talk about the challenges around agent burnout. And Robert De Niro closed things out. Okay, for my first takeaway, we're going to talk about AI, of course. Uh, but AI in a little bit of a different way. Um, Cisco is doing some really cool stuff um, to improve audio and video quality. I, I know that sounds kind of kind of strange, but we're still having problems on calls where we can't hear people clearly, especially over Wi-Fi or, or low bandwidth connections. Um, and Cisco's doing an amazing job here. They, they've actually created a new codec that actually is like 16 times uh, smaller file sizes uh, to transmit audio. And this, this allows you to, to send high quality audio over even poor internet connections. Um, they're also doing some things to, to help recover lost packets. It's really innovative. Um, and I, I think this is going to show through in, in a better meeting experience. Um, they're doing something very similar with video, where if you're in a low bandwidth situation, they can actually shrink the video size down, um, send it to the other side, and then basically upscale it using AI um, to, a, to a close to 720p experience. Um, and again, they can do this over very, very uh, low bandwidth connections. And I think you know, hopefully all of this will just help to improve the overall meeting experience um, and some really cool uh, uses of AI. My second takeaway, I want to talk about devices. Um, Cisco's been a leader in the device area for some time and, you know, they've continued to innovate. Um, this hybrid world we, we live in, um, this, this idea of trying to get people back into the office, you know, companies are having to make investments and they need technology that works, that someone that works in the office maybe one day a week can show up to a conference room and be able to join meetings. Um, and we also need for that meeting experience uh, to work for everyone, the people that are in the room, uh, as well as the, the, the remote participants. So they've got some really cool innovations that they were sharing here um, with their new uh, kind of wall system. Um, and one of the cool things about it is you can use, you know, uh, lower end displays to, to save money if, you've, if, if budget's an issue, uh, but kind of, a, uh, kind of an all-in-one experience that I think is gonna, uh, gonna have a lot of traction in the industry. Okay, so for my third takeaway, I wanna talk about CX. I spend a lot of time tracking the customer experience space. And it's been an interesting journey for WebEx as they've kind of built this as part of their suite from scratch, so it's, it's been a growing business. Um, they're definitely seeing some success um, in, in the uptake of their services. Um, a couple of interesting announcements on this front. One is kind of bundling in a, a free version um, or, or part of the suite so that um, companies with, with smaller departments or have kind of simple contact center needs, um, they can just have that as part of the suite. And again, it's kind of integrated with, with their calling and messaging and, and the other aspects of the suite. Um, they also have kind of a lower tier uh, bundle for like $30 a month that gives you some more advanced features without having to go into the full AI, CCAS, you know, uh, full functionality um, offering that they have as well. Um, and I like this. I like the, uh, the ability to kind of extend some of that functionality to um, organizations and departments that, um, that have simpler needs um, but still can benefit uh, from this technology. So I love to see what's coming in the CX space. Um, and then as their larger portfolio continues to expand, um, it'll be real interesting to see as they start to be able to compete with some of the other CCAS providers uh, here in the very near future. That's it for this edition of On Convergence from California. Glad to be going home for a little bit, um, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.